Hey everyone, today we are diving into something really cool. It's called Notebook LM and this is the tool that I have been using for past few months to learn about any new and complex topics and it has completely changed how I learn and save lots and lots of hours. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this tool to learn about anything so you also can save a lot of hours. By the end of this quick video, you will exactly know how to use Notebook LM to easily learn complex topics and also we'll look at how it can turn boring PDFs and articles into podcasts, mind maps and even interactive chat sessions. Trust me, this is going to save you lots and lots of hours. First thing first, let's take an example that you want to learn about prompt engineering. There are lots and lots of documents about it. For this example, I've got three resources about prompt engineering. So I've got this first document. It's a PDF document from Google, Gemini for Google Workspace Prompting Guide 101. There is around 68 pages of the informations over here. Of course, it will take a lot of time. Then I have an AI guide again from Google Prompt Engineering Overview and Guide. And then third document that I'm going to use, which is a PDF that I've downloaded. So I'm going to upload and connect all these documents. Uh, so let's get started. So this is Notebook LM interface. I will show you how easy it is to upload this note, uh, these documents on Notebook LM. So the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new project. So there is a create new button. Once you create that, uh, it will already ask you to add some resources. So let's go to the first resources. This is in website URL. You copy that, go to link website and paste this URL. Then click on insert. If you see over here, it is now scanning and indexing all the information. We do the same for the other document. So go to AI prompt engineering guide, copy the URL again and paste it over here. And if you do insert, you see the first document is already kind of added the second document is also added and for third document we're going to use this pdf which is downloaded in my local machine so i click on add so you can drag and drop uh, these files so i'm going to drag these files and if you see my pdf is being indexed now now this is so simple that you already added three documents you can add YouTube videos, your Google Docs, slides, or your own text. You can paste that as well. And it will utilize all this as a sources. So it's, it's that easy. Now this is where things get really fun. Notebook LM can take all these sources, docs, PDFs, any sources, and summarize them into podcasts. Yep, just like your favorite podcast, but custom made for your study material. So now let's check how you can generate a podcast out of it. So these are the three documents. If you go to this right section, there is a section called studio. And over here you can say generate button. So it says deep dive conversation. You can customize it based upon your needs, but let's kind of keep it edited for now. And click on generate button. And if you see over here, it is generating this conversation based on three sources that we've added and it will take some time so let's wait so if you see it's it generated a 40 minutes podcast audio that you can listen imagine if you have to you know read all these documents uh, to get information yeah that will take a lot of time right so with 40 minutes, you can get a lot of important information that is part of this document. And the best thing is that it combines all the informations and generates and also cite this is from this document in all in this podcast. So this is one of the good features that is part of Notebook LM that you can use to learn about any new thing. Next is its mind map feature. You may be those person who understand things more clearly when it's visually represented. Notebook LM does exactly that with mind maps. In this step, we'll explore how to create mind maps from your uploaded resources. So to create mind map, first you have to click on this mind map button. It's in the center of the screen. So once you click on mind map, it will show uh, generating mind maps. So you don't have to wait 
prefer it to generate mind map uh, you can check later on as well but it generated for us much more faster so if you click on this it will show us all the informations linked properly so you see our main topic prompt engineering it divided into subtopics prompting techniques model configurations prompt for code uh, prompting in Gemini for Google Workspace, best practices, all these things. Let's go to best pra best practices. Oh, a lot of information. So tinkering and experimentation using precise language. So it break down all the important information into main sub ideas. Try different paraphrasing, all these informations. If you go to prompt coding, you can say writing codes, all these information. So if you click on one of these uh, sub ideas, it even linked it to chat so it says discuss what the sources say about writing code and basically it summarizes that part only by combining all this information pretty insane this can be a game changer to understand any kind of information visually using mind map and you can because it's a big document you don't have to learn about everything go to mind map pick on a topic uh, prompt for code and it will give you all the informations about that summarized so you don't have to read the entire document this will be very cool on learning new things then the finer feature of notebook lm which is again a best thing that they have uh, built everyone is using chat gpt these days or, or gemini to get information but imagine you can chat regarding any kind of your personal documents or this kind of resources that would be very interesting right so you can seriously ask notebook lm questions and it will respond just like chatting with your real tutor this is going to be a big thing as well so let's take an example in this scenario so to use chat feature you can see in the middle of the screen there is a chat section you can just type any questions so let's type a question what are the top five best practices in prompt engineering according to this uploaded resources let's see what it gives so now it's scanning all the information that is indexed and basically it's not only checking one document it's checking all the information from all the document and it will compile this information so it says this information right here are several prominent best practices discussed in the sources one sort few set technique and if you see over here you can see this one two these are all the citation it gives from different document that it uses so you yeah, provide context and background information, iterate experiments, so a lot of helpful things. And it's summarized so that you don't have to go through entire document and find your way through it. So it is going to help you learn a lot of complex topics in no time. So if you are interested, go to Notebook LM and you know utilize, try it for yourself. If you see in this example, we already saw uh, different sources, how to uh, uh, upload them, how to uh, generate a podcast how to create a man mind map and how to you know uh, chat with the document now one more thing that I have to provide in this video is that yes this is a powerful tool but it is also depending upon how you use it it's quick interactive and makes complex learning easy but remember garbage in garbage out it works best if you upload a clear structured document just don't throw any kind of document and expect it to provide a very uh, quality output so your document should be also have a quality input in order to make in order to pro, in order for notebook lm to provide quality output all right that's it for today now you've got the tools to make learning fast and enjoyable if you like this hit that subscribe button drop a like and let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to learn next i'll make a new video for that topic thank you